the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the morning with Laura Styles and Rosenberg. Hey, gentlemen, Ebro, Laura Rosenberg, good morning. And, um, man. It's not looking good if you didn't want to get a vaccine. You work for a hospital in the state or you work for a school in the city. It Pressure. sucks. It sucks. It what, does suck. I mean, they started, they started laying people off like Northwell Health. Is that what it is? Northwell? Mm -hmm. Am I saying it right? Northwell, Northwell Health. Health. Yes. Uh, and these public, what they call public health systems. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I'm not giving a congrats to the people who are vaccine hesitant or or just not doing it at all and you lost your job. I'm giving it to all of us for allowing it to get to this point where people now have to choose between their livelihood and getting a vax. It got so politicized, so divided. It became everything else but what's the best way to keep people alive and safe. And that so people true. started picking sides. Then people, because there's a lot of people who didn't get vaxxed for political reasons. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Whereas, imagine if that, that mass amount of people in the beginning would have got vaxxed. It would have never got to this point. But I think people were hesitant because it's still in clinical trials. You know, you Whatever. don't really know. There, there's those people, too. There's those people, too. But there's a lot of people, it was just exacerbated because it was a political issue. That's but why it got from the so beginning, loud and but noisy. Even, but even for those who aren't Republicans or Democrats, it is still now a political issue. In fact, I think for a lot of people, it's their only issue. They will be a one-voter issue. A one-issue voter, I should say. And that is hey. the vaccine. But for and all it was of political that, from the beginning, because if you remember during the debates, what I think was Pence and uh, Kamala, mm -hmm. he said, are you going to take the vaccine? She was like, not if Donald Trump issues it. And he was like, why are you politicizing something that the whole country needs? That was out which the is gate. A, which is exactly, and Shawnee's playing right into it. I didn't bring up anybody specific. I'm just saying I'm it's saying been political. all of us, <laughs> mm -hmm. everyone involved. Everybody. Right. Congratulations, mm -hmm. you played yourself. And leave me out of this. I was going to get it no matter who, so, no matter who put the vaccine out. I was getting. it. <laughs> I was always going to win. If it had Trump's shot. name on it with the picture and him smiling, I would be like, wait, <laughs> the scientist? Do the scientists say it's okay? I'll take Trump's nasty medicine. Listen, I was always going to wait and see how it played out, but you know, listen, now we're here and now people are losing their jobs. And yeah, and it's unfortunate a lot of people have been reaching out to me that work in the hospitals that are just like they're very frustrated with the fact that they have to be pressured when they were on the front line. And there was no but vaccine let me, available. Let me, but let me ask but you this question. But there's also nurses who are frustrated with other nurses that are going out and hanging out and bringing right. COVID but into the hospital right, with the most right vulnerable into people. Y'all are falling right into why we're in this predicament as a total society. Okay, and that is? That is, you're bringing up the political climate and not the actual health and wellness of individuals. Well, but I think that's what Laura's saying, though, because my, yeah. que my question yeah. is, so here's my question. And, and as you know, I've had a bit of a um, reforming of my thoughts and how I deal with people who are vax hesitant. I have a lot more sympathy, and I understand it a little bit better now. But with, in the case of medical workers, right, we said what it is the solution? Right. What like like Shawnee, you're a good person to ask. What would you say to people who do not want to get vaccinated, who are in charge with taking care of people who are vulnerable? To get, to get tested regularly. Every day? Because and, and can they go out? And can because, they go out at night? Because listen, because they deal with people on an everyday basis. Right. So it's not like, okay, so you get tested on a Friday, you catch COVID on a Saturday, so you're gonna infect people the whole week and wait for your test? But if you get vaccinated and you can still spread it and you're not getting tested, that's not really but a you're, great but, solution but, either. No, no, I agree with you. You should you should you should regularly get tested and but, get vaccinated. But the, the idea would be that if you're vaccinated and you're a nurse and you decide to live your life, you go out. Even if you do happen to be a rare breakthrough case, which happens, your likelihood of spreading it is lower. And if you do spread it, it's going to be a lower viral load and people are less likely to get sick. All of this would have been a great conversation if, in the beginning, we weren't all divided by picking teams. But if, if, if this didn't start by a red versus blue, if this didn't start as a political gamesmanship, these conversations may have been had a little bit more readily, easily. And all I'm yeah, saying true, is, true. is y'all are debating something and people are losing their jobs now. Which is and the people are losing part. their lives, too. Don't right. forget yeah. that. Yes. And so because we're here, 
I'm giving us all. Congratulations. Yeah. You played yourself. Yep. Yeah. You because know. the learning lesson in this is don't fall into the political gamesmanship when you're talking about people's lives. We do the same thing with guns. We do the same thing with mental health. We do the same thing with putting a roof over people's heads. We do the same thing with putting food in people's stomachs. These like essential things that should be like, yo, we got it. We got the money, figure it out. It becomes political gamesmanship. And then ultimately the, the most vulnerable, right? Because I'm gonna tell you, the people who are losing their jobs at hospitals, right? They're not the doctors. They're not the top administrators making all the money. No. no. They're not, you know, the people losing their jobs at school, it ain't the principal. Unless the principal doesn't want to take the uh, vaccine. But they did. And, and, and that, you, know <laughs> you know what I'm saying? saying he losing his job too. 99% no, no, did of them did, saying. though, is my point. You know what I mean? And, and, and the reason those people that are losing their job is because some of them are the most vulnerable. They feel attacked by society. They feel attacked by the government. They have the least amount of trust. They have the least amount of access and trust and information, They've et cetera, had the et cetera, most et cetera. Bad experiences They've had the most the bad experiences in their life and in their government. Those are the people that aren't taking the vax. And right, and I get it. Yeah. I get it. Now, I just want to let y'all know, most rich people and people who making a lot of money out here, they're taking the vax. Vax. They're taking the vax. I mean, I've heard that argument, too, and I... No, I, it's, I not it's, it's not an argument. It's not an argument, bro. I've argument. seen it. I'm I mean, just or, letting you or know. that fact. I'm just letting you know. you know. Right. And they're not going to kill off the rich, so there's no conspiracy, and, so we should be following what the rich people I'm do. Not saying that that either. Either. I'm not saying that either. I'm just saying... And I'm just going to put this out there, too. A lot of Republicans that, were, that are hardcore... And people might think that they're anti-vax. They're out here taking the vax. I've seen it. I feel you. It's but just people just are, out on both sides, I think people have been afraid of or concerned for their safety. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think that's so. the bottom line. That is the bottom line. I'll reiterate, so I'll, say, I'll reiterate, anybody that's taking a vax, I believe most were scared. Nobody gets in line to put a needle in their arm and goes, whoop -dee, yeah. let, let's when go. That, you, think, you think when I walked into the Jacob Javits Center and you have, uh, there were the mili military, the military directing <laughs> me, <laughs> and like, this is the area where you wait so we make sure you're not sick. And I was like, sick? Right. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. There's trepidation for sure. I get, this is my and new, on both sides. This well, is my also, new vaccine campaign, Ebro. I have a new vaccine campaign because I, I really do empathize with people who are hesitant and I understand. And Shawnee really changed. When, when I heard that number, 83% of black people in New York have not taken the vaccine. I was like, oh, man, people aren't crazy. People are just really hesitant out here, right? Some people are crazy. Most people are just hesitant. Here's my new campaign. Take the vaccine. It really ain't that deep, y'all. That Well, listen. It, when it, no, no. When it, <laughs> this is all I'm saying well, for but my also, experience. But, there, but it is it deep because deep, people don't have trust, trusted uh uh, sources for their information, like people trust posts on Twitter. They right. don't know the they don't know the reference to that. Yes, and anybody that's a huge can tell problem. you anything on Twitter. They could be like, "Yo, I got the vax. I'm in the hospital." You don't know if that's fact or that person just wants a shout out and some retweets. You don't know. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? So people are trusting information that they don't even have. And then and also once again. Then people will say, well, you're trusting a government that has a history of doing people wrong. That's true. Or you're trusting big pharmaceutical companies that have yeah. a history of doing people wrong. Also true. So all of that goes back to my initial point. Congratulations. You played yourself. Because we as a society let it get to this point. And, and by the way, in 1918 with the Spanish flu or polio, there was all, also these incidents that took place. So there's history here where, as a nation, we have this problem. And this is why we can't move forward on a lot of things, because we be doing this. Congratulations. You played yourself. Playing ourselves. Laura, what's on the list? I guess, I don't know. I just opened TMZ, and the headline is... Bill Cosby. Oh, he oh, took mine. Congratulations. <laughs> you played yourself. We can do it together. No, no, please. Uh, Bill Cosby and his team feel that R. Kelly got railroaded in his trial. Mostly because the lawyer that was representing some of R. Kelly's victims was also a lawyer that was representing victims in the Cosby trial. No, no, let's be real. Bill Cosby has become the rape defender. Ugh. He comes out when any dude is accused of anything. 
Bill Cosby is the dude who gives a statement now saying that they were wronged in some way. And is this a social media post or he's actually talking to his lawyer or one of his people said it? Yes. And and gave a statement on his behalf. And they're saying that he believes racism played a key factor in Kelly's conviction. All right. Well, guess what? Bill Cosby, you don't have a lot of credibility, so. Congratulations. You don't play yourself. Who cares? Rosenberg was on your list. That was it, was Bill Cosby. Oh. Congratulations. You played yourself.